Donut. Hi, I'm Josh. Welcome to the very first episode of Jump Stuff. The name of the game, Jump Stuff. Look around you. See all that stuff? That stuff. This stuff. My stuff. Your stuff. Big stuff. Small stuff. Short stuff. Tall stuff. Stuff in the fridge. Stuff on the street. Stuff in your mind. The right stuff. The wrong stuff. All of that stuff is begging to be jumped. And this is the one place where we get to do it. Let me ask you. Have you ever jumped a miniaturized robotic AI car through the hole of a donut? No, you haven't. But today, we're going to do just that, using Anki Overdrive. First things first, let's head to the garage. For today's pick, got to go with Guardian. Sleek, smooth, and great on takeoff. Let's see how it fares. Now that we've got our car picked out, it's time to talk track design. Pretty standard track here. We have the launch exit piece, the launch re-entry piece, and space for the donut feature itself. Very important when accounting for verticality that you don't catch any glaze or actual dough coming off the launch here. I also like to put a little bit of a curve at the end of each jump so that the car can decelerate without flying off the track. When it comes to the donut itself, the question of scale is a big one. You see, no matter how you cut it, no standard overdrive car is gonna fit into a standard donut hole which means we're gonna need a bigger donut. Jump cut! Ha! Initially, my donut budget was $40. However, this neglected to account for my lack of willpower when it comes to eating prop donuts. Oh yeah. Regarding the donuts we'll be using themselves, consistency is key. Alas, the clearance here, not gonna cut it. As we move up to the medium-sized donut, we get a little better clearance, but at velocity, we won't have the consistency we're looking for. When we upgrade to the giant donut, oh yeah, that's the ticket. It's time to jump stuff. Track's all set, car's charged up, donut jump is in place. Will it work? There's only one way to find out. For all of our jumps, I like to put the car in demo mode by flipping it over and pressing the button on the bottom five times. One, two, three, four, five. This allows the car to continue along the track indefinitely at a constant speed, keeping all of our variables in check. Gets around the final bend, hits the straightaway, hits the ramp piece, and fails. Going around one curve, coming around the final bend, about to hit the straightaway as it hits the ramp, gets through and lands! Jumped it! We've successfully jumped through a stationary donut, but I'm not satisfied yet. It's time to up the stakes, raise the risk. Hashtag jump life. Moving around the final bend now. Coming down straight away and... Coming around. Here at the end of the day, we've successfully completed both a stationary and 360 degree rotating jump of the specially commissioned Voodoo Donut. Really happy with how today turned out, both from a track design and an actual stunt development perspective. The car came through cleanly. We got a few consistent runs at it. Um, had, to make, had to make a couple tweaks here and there as far as alignment goes, but at the end of the day, it all worked out. We successfully completed our first jump through the specially commissioned Voodoo Donut. I can't wait to see what other jumps we have in store for the future. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you back next week for episode two of Jump Stuff.